Good morning and welcome to my low vision kitchen. I am William Elliott and I have a nice recipe for you today. It's a breakfast sausage casserole. For the, the casserole is very simple to make if you have low vision or if you're just not a confident cook then this would be ideal if you enjoy breakfast sandwiches at places like Starbucks or McDonald's. The first thing you should do before starting this casserole is to pre preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and that can be warming while we actually do the preparation. You will need a fork, quite simple, a spatula for stirring, a medium sized bowl, this will allow you to mix the eggs and milk mixture and a 9 by 13 inch casserole pan or a similar item. Also you will need something to grease the pan, about five or six standard sized eggs or good sized eggs. I use a prepared biscuit pack uh, from the chilled section in the supermarket you could prepare your own biscuit or scone mixture that is quite uh, reasonable um, throughout this video I will be describing these as biscuits if you are in Britain that would be the equivalent of a plain uh, scone a savoury type scone not the fruit one also, I have some prepared sausage patties, but you would be able to use your favourite breakfast sausage. You can use Italian savoury sausage, or in England, I've used bangers or Cumberland sausages. Very, very good in this recipe. Also, a bag of uh, cheese. Use your favourite type of cheese for these I have got uh, grated cheddar cheese. You won't need the whole bag but if you enjoy cheese it's all to your own taste. Also uh, some milk for mixing with the eggs and also salt and pepper for seasoning later in the recipe. Having set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit in an electric oven or gas mark 4 to preheat, we now need to grease our cooking pan. I use a spray cooking oil. Just having liberally coated the bottom, just run fingers through the oil. Having made sure we wash our hands first, which I, I have, we then have our prepared cooking dish. For ease of use I have purchased some ready cooked and prepared sausage patties. These, these are readily available at most super, supermarkets. Um, they look probably to British viewers like uh, small hamburgers or beef burgers which you can also use if you wish. Um, if you want to use 
regular breakfast sausages or your own particular favorite sausage I suggest that you uh, cut those cook those brown them uh, off first which makes them easier to cut into pieces and then you can place place them into the dish uh, as broken pieces with these you can just simply break them up if you wish or you can use them as complete patties in their own right which would be more like you would get in the breakfast sandwich at McDonald's or Starbucks. I will just place these items in my casserole dish Bear in mind when you create, uh, have your casserole dish, when the casserole is prepared, you will actually be serving this in slices. So you don't actually get a whole of one of these patties to each serving. Uh, I will not put all of the patties in, I will save one just for a second. Here I have my biscuit container which is already opened. It actually exploded uh, as I was preparing the sausages uh, a little while ago. These these biscuits or scones come here unbaked, it's just basic pastry and we lay this on top of our sausage, basically covering the bottom layer as best we can, it doesn't matter if they overlap slightly as when they cook they will all grow together and form a lid over the top of our sausages. This pack actually contains eight biscuits and so just nicely th fits into this 13 inch by 9 casserole dish and as you can see they're fairly loosely packed it doesn't doesn't matter it's all will we'll all work out when they're cooked and it is easier to slice I will also take my final sausage patty and just put a little in the top of each biscuit just to add a little extra flavour make sure we get at least some sausage with almost every bite as I say again this is just rough you just put it together and it should all begin to come together later for this recipe I am going to use six eggs not normal good quality eggs now one of the simple tip I would like to give you is when using eggs crack them into a separate bowl before you uh, put them into your mixture. The reason for this is if you have a bad egg then you know that it's bad before you actually put it into the whole of the mixture. If you get to the sixth egg and then put it in without cracking it into a separate bowl and put it into the mixture then you've ruined six Five, five, you have got five good eggs. This way, you only have a chance of finding one bad egg. So 
that appears to be a good egg. So we put our first egg into the bowl. I will now proceed and put in the other five eggs. Having prepared my six eggs, I now need about a cup of milk. Uh, that would be just, or you can actually vary the amount of milk by your own particular taste. Um, it's not too important. We add that to our eggs, all in one go, and here we have some uh, salt, you can use your own particular favourite salt, kosher salt, or just like this is down the ground. Be careful with the amount of salt you use though, if your sausage is very salty then you probably need to use less and I like to use fle freshly ground black pepper cones and I like a good helping of pepper so I put plenty in the thing I use to judge how much pepper is in there is actually when I can smell the sweet scent of the pepper then I know I've got about the right amount in and now I take my fork and break up, break up the eggs and just quickly mix the eggs until they're broken up and the liquid is a complete mixture of egg and milk so you can't see any floating yolks or any residue of the wax. Um, just takes a few seconds and that should be that should be complete. Now we bring back our casserole dish. We turn it to our workspace. And now if we just pour the egg mixture gently into the casserole dish, just coat the tops of all of the the biscuits and then just scrape out any of the remains of the egg and milk mixture and now it's exciting time because we now add the cheese I really love cheese so this is the time when if you are like me and enjoy cheese there is lots of cheese you can even leave cheese out and not add any I personally like several handfuls of cheese which goes into the over the top of the mixture. It doesn't matter if it falls into the milk, you don't have to think neatness or tidiness. The whole thing will completely reform itself in the oven and you'll actually be surprised with how good it all turns out. the casserole should look before it goes into the oven. It doesn't matter if yours doesn't feel look exactly like this, it is will all glow over as it the cheese melts and the egg milk mixture solidifies making like a scrambled egg. So you now place this into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or gas microwave 
Mark IV for about 25 to 30 minutes until it's golden brown and bubbly. Well, the kitchen smells really delicious and that's one way that you can tell that this casserole is properly baked. Another way you can tell is just to gently flick the top of the casserole. And if it sounds hollow, then it is ready. And you may be thinking, this is a lot of casserole. Well, as I mentioned earlier, this will actually give me breakfasts for about one whole week. It could serve 12 people as a small side dish or appetizer, or if you think you would like to make it, just uh, split it into two parts, save one for yourself and give the other half to a friend. Now let's have a look inside. Gently. Being careful because it is still very, very hot. And it should just slide out very, very easily. This is how the final casserole should look. You have your layers of sausage with the biscuit mix and then a crust of nice heavy cheese. And the egg mixture has now turned into a delicious scrambled egg custard. And that is really good. I am going to enjoy this for my breakfast. Thank you for watching the Low Vision Kitchen and please subscribe to my channel or follow me with my blog William Elliot A Life with Blindness for more hints and tips and day-to-day -day life as a blind person. Thank you.